Okay. Right. So you fact, said, you know, you know, go ahead. Yeah, in fact, no, I must just tell you, I think also why my brain is a bit like cluttered is because in the past, uh, I was, uh, when I was into, I was also, I've been training for like four or five years and not really profitable, but I was doing this uh, BTMM, you know, these market maker, counting levels, New York session, all these things. So I was, I was reading a whole lot of material on this. Okay. When I see the charts, I'm always thinking about the moving averages and things like that and TDIs and stuff. But now, obviously, this is a different way of seeing the markets. I have to like unlearn and relearn. Exactly what I want to say. You just have to, um, though it's, it's quite difficult because you started on the wrong note. I'm sorry to say that. The market is not supposed to be approached in uh using indicators because indicators follow price you get it now they don't move the market the banks move the market smart money moves the market they create uh footprints that we want to be able to identify so it's those footprints that we call price action or market structure i also started with indicators and i had so much tough tough time when I came into smart money, I got a mentor then who was now putting me through smart money. I, it was a tough time. Boom. So I trading 20. I can't say I started trading, but I was already with Forex since 2018, 2019. I was just looking for mentors up and down that would put me through, you know. So okay, mentors just keep, or normal, they just, tell you give you videos and why i wasn't happy with my mentor then after paying about about two hundred thousand naira that's a whole lot of money it was it was a whole lot of stress to save that money just give me like four videos no session i if i complain i didn't get this i didn't understand this you say go back to this other video guy i just finished the video and i still don't understand so i got fed up i just I just exited myself from the group just to forget about Forex. Not until uh, 2020, during the pandemic, I came across another mentor. Though I met one of my mentor, a spiritual mentor who directed me to somebody who does Forex, his boy. The guy is good. Only for me to get there, they were indicator based, cram based, moving average 20, moving average 30, 40. I had serious aches time i was carrying my notebook up and down cramming indicators cramming this is this cross this and all of that so we started on the same notes yeah so when i came across smart money trader who wanted to put me through got into his mentorship it became difficult i understand like difficult it took time to unlearn the things i've learned before to begin to see the chart plainly as it is. And I think this is just the best approach everyone should take to trading. So let's let's look at this 25 now. I'm going to just open charts and then I just trying to show you you must get structure on the higher time frame. 24, the daily, 24 hours or the H4. That's what I use for my structure. That's my style of trading. Is that for my structure? So I, I hope you can hear me right. Yes, I agree. Okay. Clear. So if I check this first, you know, you want to identify the trend of the market. Once you open a chart, you want to identify what is the market doing? What's the overall trend? So that's it, this is the overall trend. Price has been bearish, right? You get this. Yes, price has bearish. Been bearish. It's very simple. So if you watch the movement of price in this bearish, momentum it has been given us all of this this is one leg this is one leg this is one leg this is one leg now this is one leg this is where you are having difficulties yeah in between you will find the uh, other movements like yes correct this. yes like this like this okay let me use this will be this this you find something like this yeah, in between. These are all bigger moves on the smaller time frame, but they are just one leg, one retracement leg on the higher time frame. I just, just see them like this. 
on a smaller time frame, but on the main time frame, they are just one day, just one day. So okay. you must be able to identify the main structure because smart money will first of all accumulate liquidity. Now, what is liquidity? I've said the liquidity are simply orders in the market, right? Orders in the market. People are buying here, people are selling here. Let me take this. All of this played. This is what we I was looking at before this. I shared this in one of the free videos. We're looking at all of this. I saw this. Okay, I think this was what I saw. Then market has not printed all of these candles. So market gave all of these. There was a little sweep of liquidity here. So I had my eyes in this zone that market swept the lows. And once market swept the lows, what we expect next is accumulation. An accumulation means there will be a break of structure. And then there will be a retest. So since market broke this high, I was now looking at this imbalance for market to come back into this imbalance. Market broke that high. and So this is where my break of structure I was looking at. So I had this low, this high. Market came, gave us this low, gave us this high, gave us this low, and the market rallied or breaking both here and here. So since oh, okay. price was retracing, I wanted price to retrace back into all of this imbalance because below this imbalance is that institutional candle. You see this last candle down this way. Below the imbalance, there is an institutional candle. This was the last sale that wicked out the previous buyers. So people were buying this market. That's why it's going up. The candles aren't just printed. People were buying. That's why this market is going up. So what it means is that the buy orders, the volume of buyers say we are more. So price rallied up. Smart money were in this place. They loaded higher volume to push the price down and then took out those previous buyers. So this is your sell side liquidity. Taking out previous buyers. Now they rallied up, closed above this, closed above this. You know this is smart money. Look at the big, big candles that were printed. This candle no weak, this candle no weak on this side and this side. So this is a large volume in millions or billions or trillions. They pushed into the market to take out the previous sellers. Sellers were here still selling. So this led to this break of market structure. So in smart money, you want to consider that last candle that pushed out, pre because we say this is manipulation. We call it manipulation or accumulation. What it means is that there was a move that took out previous buyers, ran up and took out previous sellers. Are you getting it now? So that move, price will need to come back there. Smart money will need to come and close their orders. So these buy orders here are in profit. Meanwhile, the sell orders that took out these previous buyers are in drawdown. drawdown. Yes. So they are coming to mitigate at least 50% of their position. So if you if you take your feed now and measure, sorry, I, I like measuring the week to week or you take body to body, whichever one is the same thing. So it's just the principle you want to apply. So if I take body to body from this last push down that took our previous buyers, we discover that this imbalance is above the 50%. So it means they are coming to mitigate 50%. So this is 50%. So I'm supposed to draw my line here. I expect price to come into all of this, all of this. What did price do? Price actually came back into it. But remember, this is the daily. You don't want to come to the daily and then get an entry here, having your stop loss all in this place. This stop loss is about 39 pips. And we don't use our stop loss. We use white trading smart money it's advisable to use between 20 and 30 pips. 
though you have to calculate it based on the asset you are trading, but once it's more than 30 pips, that's a big stop loss. And this is daily. So on the 15 minutes, this 30 pips or 37 pips is going to be a whole lot of money. Like you enter a trade, you are in drawdown for a whole day. If you are not, um, uh, if it's not a company account, of course, you should know you are going to lose that trade. The trade must have even closed you lose all your money before price will go up. Did price go up? Yes, price actually went up and get the one to five. But you can't take this trade like this. You can't take this trade like this. This is a wrong way of taking trades. You are not smart money. You don't have positions here to mitigate out. So what do you do? You now wait for price in this place. So let me draw this. You go to a lower time frame. Let me draw all of this move. Let me change the color of this place. Okay, to green. Yeah, let me use the green. Would that be clear enough? Maybe something like this? Yes, yes, it's clear. Okay, so let me use the green. Now, what we need to do is that you want to wait for price in this place in a lower time frame. For This is accumulation now because price rally down broke structure. I may not need to write it here, but you can see it clearly. Broke this high, broke this high. As a break of market structure. So price coming back to it is what we call accumulation, a break and retest. One, two, three. It breaks and retest. Are you getting it now? So if price is yes. coming back, you need to come here and wait for price. You are waiting for price. It might take days. I would have loved to open my telegram, but I don't like the pop-ups when I'm having a call. That's why I don't like using uh, telegram videos. I'm having calls, messages are just dropping and popping up. They distract me. I don't want it. And since I'm, I upload my videos to YouTube and all of that, apart from the videos in the mentorship, I think I really don't want that much. So let's go to a lower time frame. Let's find out what happened in this place. In this place. You get the higher time frame point of interest now. This becomes yes, your sir. point of interest. Now you mm -hmm. want to scale down to a lower time frame. Let's wait for what price did here. Price should do it again in this place. That's what uh, we'll call confirmation. Quick okay. Quick one, Moses. The, yes, the break in market structure was that structural high before price pushed down eh? over Ooh, there. This um, was the last high, the high, last high, last low. Last high, last low. Why did I call this the last low? Let me zoom out so that you see. It's also a structural for me, it's the daily. Check the candle, the body of the candle close below. Okay. Uh, this body the, the, the... close below this. I put okay. this here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, uh, let me remove all of this. Because we consider the body of candles for break of structure. Okay, understood. That the, the institutional candle is is also called an, an, an order block candle. Is this the same thing? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, it's the same thing. Oh, or understood. rather, let me call it a mitigation candle. I used to call it institutional candle, but it's better to call it a mitigation candle. So price is coming to mitigate out of, out of their position. It's still an institutional candle also, but I prefer to call it order block and mitigation candle. When we come to, uh, when we go later in the course, I'll tell you why I'm separating it. It's an institutional candle, that's true. But it's a mitigation candle because there are some institutional candles that price will not come to mitigate. They might leave that candle. And, and when you high that was broken, that would be the change of character, the one over yes. there. So this one now, you will call this my change of character. So this oh, was, okay. yes, this was a change of character. What does it mean? Price is changing direction. That's what it just means. Price is changing direction. I've been going high, low, high, lower, low. Now I'm trying to change more. Like you come to a roundabout and you're trying to take a U-turn. So that's what market is telling you. These are footprints of smart money. All right. You get it so this was thumb hunt or liquidity grab. We call this thumb hunt or liquidity grab. Price came, look at that week, pull, pull that everybody here. So this is thumb hunt or sweep, liquidity sweep or liquidity grab. There are different technologies, but just have the understanding. Price came, swept every previous bias here 
and rallied up, sweeping those sellers, sweeping those sellers. So now you have to come back and you have identified that this from this high to this low, body to body, the 50% is around this place. So price actually came to the 50%. When price comes there, you now want to go back to a lower time frame. Since this is daily, you go to lower time frames like the one hour. If you, if you spot the institutional candle on the one hour, go to lower time frame, just say a, a, a um, lower time frame lesser. So one hour, you can check 30 minutes and 15 minutes. If it's two hours, you can check one hour, 30 minutes. If it's daily, you can check four hours and one hour. That's just how it is. Just take one time frame backward and then you can see clearly. I hope I'm able to get this because uh, it's a long time. The history should be back. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. Okay, I think I found it. So this is it. This is that zone where we marked on the daily. This is that zone where we marked on the daily. So all of this is that zone. You're going to find out what price did on the higher time frame. It will surely do on the lower time frame. Okay, so let me just reduce all of this. I want to concentrate on the entry, the first entry before price broke. So let's go. Check price was rallying down. This is a retracement leg coming. This is a retracement move. So I, I think I want to remove all of this now. Let me remove this. This is a retracement move coming down. Now watch what price did. Price first of all gave us a high, a low, right? Are we together? Yes. And what did price do? Price yes. gave us the higher high here. So what's that? That's a change of character. You see that? This candle came and closed above this. Oh, and you see that? I see. I now see. this is a one yes. hour. So you need to wait for that same thing. Price was coming a low, gave us a high, gave us a lower low. So this is your liquidity sweep. The same way price swept liquidity, and closed above. So price came, swept liquidity, closed above. So if you were on your chart, this is your this would have been your first entry. But I'd love to remove this, but let me let me see if I can send to back. Can I? Can I send to back or okay, send back Maybe. All right. Yeah, I think I sent to back. Now, so it has closed above this. What do you do? Are you not seeing this big candle that closed above? That's your imbalance when price closed above. So what do you do? Mark out the last candle. Are you there? The last candle. So this was the last candle. This is where you are going to wait for price. So you wait for price here. 50% of that candle is your entry. And then your stop loss here. So this stop loss is only about three pips instead of 30 pips on the daily, right? Stop loss here is now about three pips. If you are following, let me know so that it can be. Yeah. Okay, so you want to take profit from, let's say you took profit from here. If you are taking profit from this high, from this last high, it's already one to four. Okay, but price first of all got to one to seven. About one to seven or one to six, yeah, one to six, one to seven. Let me remove this place so that you can see. Price came, gave us a one to seven. Price couldn't go up, but already you are taking some profit off the table by simply playing the same principle. Wait for the market to close above the previous high, breaking a structural point. So price came broke this structural point. High, low, price broke above. What do you do? Just target the last candle, which is your mitigation candle or the other block. Price will come back into it. You can play 50% of the candle because this is one hour. If I go to five minutes, you will see multiple candles in this single candle. And then I can spot out the exact candle that market will come. But because this is just a one hour time frame, just play 50% of the candle. Stop loss at the lows, take profit. Your first take profit should be on the structural 
point, the next structural point, because we use structural points for targets, because these are external liquidities now. Are you getting me? These are external liquidities, so you want to wait for price to come here, they just take profit from here. So if you are played by the rule, took profit from here, this one to four. And then let's say you took partials, you took like 80% of your profit and you move stop loss to entry around this place, you break even. And then price came, cleared you, took you out. No problem. This is entry number one. Now price has taken you out. It means that this first move, all this reaccumulation around this place is now invalid. But price is still within that uh, daily point of interest. So you only just to watch. You don't go, you keep watching what price wants to go. Let's see what price do. Price came, created all of this, came down, and then price came and broke this structural point. Let's go. Let's, we are trading structure. It had to get here to price has broken this structural point. So you want to take all of this last push down. All of yes. this last push down, and you want to wait for price to come here. So I'm going to have my long position, or let's say 50% of it, and then expecting to take price from this high. What did market do? Market traded inside and kicked me out. Good. So we lost this trade. We got one to three here. We lost 1% here. Or oh, is it one to three? We got one to three in this place and we lost one percent. So we are two percent in profit. I went on the same page. So let me put this one. This one was kicked out. We lost that. Meanwhile, we got a one to three on this place. That's how to manage the trades. Why did you lose this? You are only playing structure. It is the it is smart money that decided to manipulate the price. It's not your business. You are not at fault. You are playing the right thing. You get it now. So let's go. What did price do again? Price came, broke this high. Market is telling you that I truly want to go, but I don't want to go with, with you. I want to leave you behind. That's smart money. That's why they are called smart money. They are not called smart money for just play. They are called smart money because they are smart. We are called smart traders because we want to think like smart money and play the moves like smart money. So now price has given us another break of structure to the upside. So we want to take 50% of this move, this whole move down, and then we're going to wait for price in this, in this zone to return. So if price return back to this zone, I will still play it. It doesn't mean whether I lost one. I'm 2% in profit, 2% up. You get it now? I'm 2% up already. Is that not true? Yeah. So let's go. I'm playing 50%, it's 50%. So I can just have my entry in this place, either open, which is the 50%, if I want to. And I can see with, the, okay, this stop loss at these lows. And then this is not my next target because this one is external liquidity now. Or buy, this is the buy side liquidity or external liquidity. Price is coming to clear these highs. So I'll have my entry at this place. Is another one to three, one to 3.98. That's about one to four. So if I get this one, I'm going to be up 3% plus this 2% because I've minus this 1% I lost. So I have 2%. If I win this, 2% plus this three. So I'm going to be up 5%. Is that not true? Let's go. What did price do? Price traded and touched it. Are you not seeing it? Price traded and touched it giving us what? Liquidity, equal highs. So yes. since price gave us equal highs, he's only telling you that I am truly coming here. That's what it means, I'm coming here. So I can take my first at one to three, this was one to three, one to three, at one to three, I'll take 80% of my profit off the market and allow price. Either I move this to entry or allow price to do whatever it takes. I'm taking 80% off. I'm holding 20%. Now, price did what? Came back into it. Came back into it. It didn't break. And then rallied up. Created another high. But let's see what happens here. After taking all of this. 
I want to zoom out. If you watch, you will see what happens here. Price gave us all of these high, low, high, and came down, breaking this. Price swept that liquidity and swept this. Is that not true? Can you get that? Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? So price gave us the same move, high, low, higher, high, uh, sorry, uh, lower, high, lower, low, and price broke. So now price has created some form of imbalance within this place. Can you see the imbalance? Price gave us an imbalance here. So that yeah. imbalance is telling me that price have a business down. That's what imbalance means. The price action here is not balanced. They are coming to balance it. That's a fair value graph. So I want to mark out the last candle and hope that price comes back. If price comes back, they are going to enter another position. Yes, if price comes back, they will enter another position. So what did price do? Price actually came back to it. So it just traded into 50%. Remember, if it's imbalance, you can take it at 50% of the imbalance or the other block. Price will do the same thing. So we would have gotten this. If I was on chart, believe me, I would have gotten this. I, I, I like playing 50%. But price might not. You know, this is a daily point of interest that we're playing all these trades back to back. It's a daily point of interest. So price might not, we don't want to dig down and dig down and dig down like this. When price broke, price came and traded into the imbalance. This was actually the imbalance price came into. Price they didn't dig down because it's already a lower time frame. So the tiny imbalance, okay, no, it was filled. Price came and just traded into the top. Or let me say the top of the uh, uh, mitigation candle or the other block price just tapped the open. So price we don't expect price to come into all of this since it's already lower time frame. And then I would have gotten this. If I had gotten this, where would I be taking profit? You see all these equal highs around here? That is my target. This would have been my take profit because these are all evidence that price is coming back so they're taking profit from here from here yeah so check what did that week do the week came and gave you a one to eight this is a one to eight by this week price touched your take profit the trade will just automatically close for you are you are you getting it now so if we let's leave all that how many percentage are we now we are two percent profit here no this one was knocked out okay this one was knocked out in this place we are already three percent this will have still given us a three percent so we are three plus three plus two that's about is that eight yeah six seven eight that's eight we are eight percent our account is eight percent in profit let's continue we just want to keep trading smart money price has given us another high broke this high so this is a break of structure. A high, a low. This was a low, a high price broke. So price will keep doing the same thing as price is going up. So your own is to stay there and be taking price back to back. This is why I don't encourage people trading so much, so many assets. You will miss the real move. Then while trying to enter for a reversal, you get hit. We are still in the daily point of interest. I hope I didn't confuse you. Now, price has broken this structure. This is a break of structure now. Price has broken this structure. So maybe I should just annotate on that so that since others will be watching this, let them not get confused. This is a break in market structure. Yeah, a break in market structure. So now price needed to come back down to all of this candle. Look at the last candle. This was the last move. This was a, a buy candle. This is the last sell candle. All of this is the last sell candle. Did you see that price came there? But what will validate it for you to tell you that it's going to hold is that above it, there will always be an imbalance above entry. It's the imbalance that tells you that price has business around that region. Price has business. There's a fair value gap and insufficient price action. So price should come back to rebalance that's how the market is wired price should come back rebalance and then we can go up so 
price came to that imbalance so what you would have just simply done is to play 50 percent of that imbalance i hope i'm not formulating all these things you can see them in the chat yes i can see can you draw that to the, the fibonacci there from the dms yes down, yes let's let's draw it let's draw the retracement this was the uh last retracement this is it this was the last retracement so it means that i should wait for price back within this region price is coming back to this region it's the same thing 50 percent downwards that's where price came to so if you if i zoom out it's the same thing if i zoom out i can tell you the exact other block look at the exact other block this was the other block are you not seeing that candle does not have weak to the upside yes yeah so this is the exact other block yeah, I made the lowest low. yes the volume was very high so price entered smart money increased the volume from this point so that they can clear these previous buyers that were happy okay so this becomes your liquidity sweep or stop stop home so when price cleared previous buyers this becomes the other block and price did it price was supposed to come and mitigate but this is the other you know, this is an order block on the daily that price is already mitigated. So they might not keep coming down to lower time frame, lower time frame order blocks. The main order block is on the daily. So it's just to now play your smart money entries, break and retest. So price came to the fair value gap. And then we had our entry on the 50%. You can see the line of the 50%. Had our stop loss below this around 18 pips, not up to 20 pips. And then we'll be looking to take price from the external liquidity, which is here. Uh, price came all the way to that place, giving us another one to four. So we are already 8% up plus four. That's 12% up. Our account is 12% up. If you just catch this back to back, 12% up, you do investment. You make an investment and in a month, you get 12 percent profit that's 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 a good investment now you are catching this this is on a daily time frame so possibly this could have been within a week or two weeks or three weeks you catch all this move the price kept giving us a high i can keep showing you how i would have added positions added position before price came down and then broke all of that and we kept going up but i've told you how i can just keep adding positions positions you are playing the same thing so let's just go over it let's go over it so that you'll be able to catch it once and for all so price was going up then from here price began to redistribute redistribute so you have a high a high price came created this tons of liquidity Price created this liquidity pool around this place, equal lows, and price came, wicked out. So we have a high, a low. When it to mark out this, I, I want to believe you can see it. We see a high, we see a low. So this is redistribution. Price is yes. distributing. So price gave us another high, gave us a low. Gave us a high, gave us a low to come and clear all of this liquidity around this place. Took this liquidity, took this liquidity. And you can see what the candle that was printed there. This was a huge move, a huge candle. This was the last move, a huge candle down. You get it now? So price has broken structure from this point. Price broke structure from this point. See clear, you can see it. This candle came and closed above went again closed that book so price broke all of these highs so since price has broke all of these highs i want to wait for that last push down that cleared this liquidity so that just simply waited here waited in this zone this was the zone that price came into um, okay how do i do with all of this let me remove all of this now so now i don't want to i don't want to remove okay let me just use this So price broke this structure. So I was supposed to mark this entire push down, the last successive candles that took out the lows, that took out this liquidity. 
if I was on chart, I know I would have missed this because I would have waited for plane of 50%. Network, please. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness. What happened? My goodness. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. All right, sorry. Yes, I, think... I was connecting. Yes, myself here. Can you still see my screen? Yes, I can see it. All right, okay. So, price came here. I would have missed this if I played it. Uh, let me just take the fib and see. I know I would have missed this, but if I was on chat, that certainly I would have gotten it. Certainly, I'm, I'm very sure I've gotten so. I'd have played fifty percent of this. I've just played fifty percent here. My stop loss at this point. But price didn't come to fifty percent. Price played open of the institutional candle, the mitigation candle. But if you know what you are doing, you can see what price did. Price came, created tons of liquidity, high, a low, and price broke. Price broke this, created above. And so we're supposed to wait for price at this region. So let's see if price came there, price didn't come, then that's all. We let it go. You will not always get the entries. I've stated that before. Price never came back to that place. Rather, price came, gave us another high. And price kept going in that direction, gave us another high. Then price mm -hmm. came. This was another entry, double bottom swept that was liquidity swept and if you look at the move high lows high low high low your highs low highs low highs low so price came and broke this so we'll just be expecting 50 percent of this move for all our retracement so you can just mark that out 50 percent of all of this move that's what I would have been expecting price to come to. Did price come to it? No, we didn't get this other entry. I, I'm just trying to show you that you not always get the entries, okay? You not always get the entries. But if you get the entry, you can ride it for long. Okay, so I see price later came here. Yeah, price did. Price came to it. No, no, it didn't touch it. It didn't come to it. Price never did, and then price redistributed and blasted through. So price Just a quick one for the for the right. firm. Go you 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 drawing it not so much from the swing from the swing high to the swing low, but the, that small leg you're drawing the foot from, right? Or that from there to there. No, so it's not a, right from the top. It's a reversal, and uh, I drew not from. I can draw from here if I want to check where price is coming. That's when I draw here. I was just drawing the reversal, the last move. The last move that led to the break of structure. That's where the mitigation candle. So this was the last move that led to this break of structure. Okay. Yes, that's what I'm drawing. Even you know, price already uh, mitigated. Oh, yeah. Yes, price already came in there. This was the break of structure. This was because so price came in straight away to the imbalance. You can see that imbalance. Price just came in there straight. Okay. Because, mm. Because I, I remember seeing on your, on your video as well on the previous session, you were also drawing the foot from the from the swing low to the swing high, waiting for the retracement and then buying. You know, for example, if, if the retracement wasn't there, say if the price never come back to fifty percent, then you would take it from the swing low to swing high and wait for price to come back to that fifty percent. Yes, if you are taking, let me remove this. If you are taking, this is extra confirmation. I don't want to get an entry that is not in a discount zone, okay? So this is 50% down. So anything that happens on around this place, that is the entry. I don't want to get an entry. If I zoom out now, we have a, a price came here and then I jump in from this place. I want to catch price upward or jump in around this place. These are liquidities. Liquidity must be below 50%, which is come to a discount zone 
and then entry will also be at a discount so all of this from the last swing low to the swing high if you measure it your entry must be below so if we had cut this entry this entry was below this other entry was also below so if you had cut this entry let's say you play this you saw price came into this place you see a high a low a high a low clearing this breaking above then you want to wait for price around this place the price come here the answer is yes all this is below 50 percent price will give you give you the opportunity it's just for you to stick by your rule it's below 50 percent so these are extra confirmations but the move that actually resulted to the break of structure is what i measured the 50 percent of that whole move this was the other block this is the other block the last candle that took out previous sellers the last candle this is the last candle remember let me say this quickly all these candles that are these one hour chart so these are all one hours so on the daily it will be just a single candle so is that candle you uh put your eyes on waiting for price to come in there price came in there gave us another reaccumulation by breaking the highs then came back to retest so if you had entered this let's say you play the open since it's a, a retest you would have gotten at least one to three let's say you take one to three if you stick to one to three you'd have had all of this you take profit if you want to take profit from here price didn't actually create a high price came created external liquidity this is the top this is the top double top so it's telling you that i will come back there much later that's liquidity so you'd have just gotten like a one to three from here though it gave us a one to five or one to six you have gotten like one to three from here and let's assume you took profit at one to three and price came and broke through that's no problem you know how many trades you have caught already so what your challenge is is just first identify your higher time frame trend and structure and range then after doing that you now want to start going to a lower time frame either one hour 15 minutes or this thing and then so let me go to daily now so that you see all of this move you are going to find it's it will be like a one candle or two candles or three candles okay this is the okay this for hours this is daily this is daily chart Please load up, load up, load up. Well, if you have, if you have order, question, you can question. ask. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, even though uh, the, the daily uh, market bias or the trend was bearish, you are looking for buys because there was a break of market structure, right? Yes, to the upside in the daily. To the upside. Even though it was bearish on the or daily. Yes, even if it was bearish, market has broken structure to the upside, so it's no longer bearish. It's now bullish. Oh, the trend has changed. Okay. That's what a break of structure means. Right, right, right. Okay, so, it was so no we longer... can jump straight from. Okay, we can we can jump straight from daily to one hour. We, we, we don't have to go to four hour, right? We can go straight from uh, daily one hour for two minutes. Hey, what what I do personally is that I use daily to identify structure. Then I use the four hours to identify my trend. Then I use one hour and 15 minutes for entries, lower time frame confirmations. Then I can that take entry in five minutes or 15 minutes. So I'll walk you through. I'll walk you through. I'll walk you through. But just understand that what you spotted on the higher time frame, which was a break of structure to the opposite direction, is the same thing you will spot on a lower time frame. Because market is fractal. So um Oh, great question. I noticed you use the word fractile, but yeah. uh, what does fractile mean? Okay, that's what I want to check for you. All right, this fractal is Wikipedia, so let's see. Okay, it's in here. All right, let's see. You can see my screen. It says uh, in mathematics, a fractal. Yes. It's a geometric shape containing detailed structure at arbitrarily small scales. 
So the structure will be in small scales, usually having a fractal dimension, strictly exceeding the topological dimension. Let's read on. Many fractals appear similar at various scales, as illustrated in successive magnifications of the Mandel broad set. So it's telling you that something that is similar that we appear in various scales. This exhibition of similar patterns. So whether it's on H4, daily, weekly, yearly, monthly, it will happen in similar patterns at increasing smaller scales. You get it now? So like what you have on daily is what will repeat itself on monthly, one hour, two hours, 45 minutes. So that's what it means. So on going back to the chart, this one has not loaded. What is the problem? Okay, let's see. Uh, if I reload now, it's going to just scatter everything we've done here. But I, I think you've got everything we've done here. So I wanted to yeah. see what the daily was going to. If this is going to be like a one or two candles, if I can write, let me see. So on the daily, you have something like this. Okay, you can write on that. Market isn't working. Let me see. Let's see this. Oh, is that? Oh. Just give me some time. Let me look for this. Uh, okay, it should be here. All right. Hold the time. This is it. So on daily, you have something like this for a bearish move. Then when you go to a lower time frame, when price comes back here on a lower time frame, on daily it will be just one leg down. But on lower time frame, when price is coming, price will be giving you something like this, something like this. So when it comes here, it should give you um, maybe this. I, 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 I didn't draw this one. Okay, maybe something like this. Come down now, break this, and give us something like this. No change of character. Yes, it must give us that change of character. A break in market structure or something, just something like that. Distribution. Yes, that's what we now call redistribution. We give us something like that. Yes, yeah. So let me say something like this. If you break high, low, higher high, which you push, it will not push above this because this is the last uh, point. Then price will now come. So you are waiting for price to come here. This is where you are waiting for price. But when price comes, you want to wait for that re distribution price should show you the evidence that as it is going it's not going to blast through you get it now that as as it is coming back it's not going to blast through so oh, if it gets it there consolidation. yes it will have to consolidate and give you signs of that i'm going down change of character and then it will go down like this meanwhile in the higher time frame it will just be one leg it will just be like a one leg no, it just go down like this. So that is what we say is fractal. So whatever happens on the higher time frame will happen on the lower time frame. The break and then retest. You get it now? Yes, yes, and I get so it. So same. basically at every at every swing high or swing low, the, the uh, candles will lose momentum you know for for the, for the change of character and yes the yes, yes. if it does not lose it momentum through. it can blast through so you don't want to have your stop loss hit that's why you want to wait for a lower time frame to reduce the risk so once the risk is reduced then you can you can just take a lower risk and make bigger rewards because that's that's the goal of trading you want to risk small and make big so that's just it. Can I refresh this? Let me refresh this. Yeah. We, we got it now. So let's see. You know, this, um, let me go to daily because the price has activated me on Euro USD. This was my entry. I posted this on the group, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me go to the daily. Let me just go to the daily so that I'll walk it through down. Let's see. This is the daily. This is what I've been looking for for months. Price has been bearish, bearish, 
bearish. I traded all these ones, traded some, got some trades around this place. And the price came. What did price do? Gave us this high, low, and price broke. Break of market structure. We know price will come down, but price hasn't come down yet. Price kept going. But this is daily, so price will definitely come down. It's a matter of time. So what would I do? I will just uh, measure this last move, body to body. I measure all this, all of this move. Then I'm expecting that if price is going to come down, price will come back to this place. This is the daily chart. It's not going to be immediate, but someday price will come here. So within this place, my other block is here. This is the other block. Within this place, that's the other block. All of this. If I go to a monthly chart now or one week, you will see that this might be just maybe few candles, okay? You can see that. This is no longer as big or mo having multiple candles like that. So this is the other block here that price should come back into. And above here, this is the weekly. Now above here, you can see equal highs. Let me go to daily, to the clearer. I have a lot of back up here. I've been looking at what this might look like. You can see these highs. And then this is equal highs. Oh, this is a, sorry, that's a mitigation candle. The mitigation candle started from all of this, all this move. This was the last move. That this was the last move that took out previous sellers. This was the move. So my mitigation candle should be around this place. I think around this place. Yeah. I will just draw it here. But I decided to draw all the move up. Yeah, I have our I look at the market, I look at it differently. Price can play anything. So this is like um, internal liquidity now. But I'm going to go to the four hours. Price has been going up. So on the four hours, I know price is bullish. This is a retracement move. So price is bullish on the weekly and daily to a retracement to continue the order flow, which is bearish. Are you getting it now? Price has broken structure, so price should come for a retest here if we are truly going to be bullish, and then we look to go higher. Price can keep going higher, so I'm expecting price to either tap off here, come back here, and then we go. So let me go to four hours. Let's see if we can spot out. So on the four hours, we had all of these. Four hours we had all of these the high, the low. Okay, this is not a higher high, yeah. Okay, this is a higher high because the candle closed above this. This candle, the higher high, a higher low. A price can give us a higher high, give us a higher low. Then, all of this consolidation you can see all of this consolidation around this place. All of this consolidation first market wicked up, broke structure i traded this i think i shared it in the group you saw when i traded this i shared it in the group yeah i traded all of that let me take this back so i knew this was internal liquidity because if i take my fibonacci from this last low to this high which was the last high at that time this was the low, so I knew this was liquidity. All of this consolidation creating this liquidity, you can see double uh, bottoms around this place. I knew price was going to weak down, so price came weak down, created this liquidity. I, I dropped this in the group also, and then I was expecting price to come into this place. This last low, this was the last push down. All of this, this was the last push down. All of this was the push down that rallied up so i was expecting price to come into this place so i caught an amazing trade here when price came into if we are going to go to a lower time frame so that we spot what market did when price came into it let me remove all of this price came into it so then this was my down range and the top range so you need to trade in between the range down range and top range and since we are bullish price we need to come back to the down range the other block in the down range and then find um, some kind of support on the other block to move higher. So I saw this support and then I had an entry around this place. Okay, let me see if I can remove all of this. Yeah. I remove all of that. 
sorry, let me back out this again. This was the last move. I'm putting on the body now. This was the last move. So I'm going to go to a lower time frame to see what happens here. This was the four hour. So I can easily go to one hour to check what happens within this or whether we got an entry. If I think I cut this on the five minutes, it's the same thing. Just want to wait for that lower time frame entry so that you get something. One hour, are you loading? Okay. Is it loading? All right. Wait. Okay. Let me wait. It's as if we left office. While we wait for that, price has cleared everything we anticipated here. So price gave us all of this, and then to be so if you had caught that trade from here. Price went there. Then lastly, price came. Price couldn't break. This was the high we expected price to break. Price couldn't break this high. Price navigated, navigated, created liquidity, swept this liquidity, and then went down. Sorry for, I think there's a network uh, challenge. You can see Henry, right? Yeah, can you hear you? All right, so price did all of these and uh, and sweat liquidity. Uh, one hour is okay, one hour is loaded. So, what happens in this place? Let's see, let's get to find that out. The okay, one hour is so sweet. Price came, gave us all of this in lower time frame. This is a whole lot, but using the higher time frame, price broke this place. You can see that. So since price broke this place, we look for the last candle. This was the last candle. You can see there was an imbalance here also. Price traded back into it. And we rallied up. But let me see if I can get uh, a five minutes. I used five minutes. I got it on five minutes. If I can get the five minutes, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, I think I got it now. That'll be fine. Is it still loading? okay fine this also happened in the five minutes that i saw that made me to take that trade this will happen at the five minutes so you can see all of these retracement a high a low this was let me annotate on this this thing is simple it's just to this was a high a low price kept giving us a high a low a high and price gave us a low And what did price do? Price wicked out all of this, cleared and closed above. So when price came back, price came created wicked out. And when price closed above here, what I was expecting, I saw this smart money cube here. This was a smart smart money cube, an institutional candle. Instead of leaving an imbalance, that was when they printed this. So I just took 50% of all of this. I just took 50% of all of this for my entry. And that was the entry. That was the entry. Smart Money created that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think, did I have my listing on this week? Let's call the Smart Money Cube. Sorry? Oh, let's call the Smart Money Cube. Uh, 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 that's yeah, the picture yeah. you do the sub. Yeah, this Smart Money Cube is an institutional candle. Oh, yeah. Yes, a cell, uh, a cell candle within a successive buy candles, just one. You'll find it. So this is a smart money cube. Oh, I see. If you drew it on the retracement, would there still be 50 percent? Eh? Uh, we can take 50 percent of the retracement. So let's see. This was the retracement. All of this was the 50 percent. So if I take the 50 percent of all of this. All of this, I would have had my entry on the 50%. Since this is a five minutes, the stop loss will be small. This is 50%. Let me take it off. So the 50% aligns with the smart money cube. Yeah. So that's to tell you that they are going to play it. If you go to a three minutes, a one minute, now you are going to find that in where this smart money cube is, possibly, possibly there will be an imbalance. 
possibly there will be an imbalance. It means there was volume that was injected into this place to move market up and close above all of these highs. Close above all of these highs, break of market structure, then they have to come back to mitigate out of their positions here, the sell positions so that they can buy up. So we had all of this push, all of this, all of this. All of this was crazy. Like it was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy, like crazy entry. Like boom. Crazy. It kept going. But I didn't hold. I think I left when price came here. Price came here. I saw you can see this. I saw this distribution of five minutes. I thought price was going to just reverse. You can see this distribution price came, broke this, cleared. Yeah. all of this so i thought since price is not say high and close below i thought price would come to this place though i didn't set my limit i was looking at price coming to play this imbalance so i just put this week there and if price comes there and gives us the play i think i wasn't really on chat but i was looking at this that's how i marked it i was looking at it that's why i marked it i wanted to take price down once again but price never gave us all of that and right now price is still bullish the daily is still bullish because we have not entered into um, let me come to like the one hours let me come to one hour the daily is still bullish so why does the daily is still bullish this is the last low this is the one hour now yeah you can see what price is doing give us a low price give us all of this low and price has given us the high you get it now it's just to be just see what price is doing so i'm marking my range now so i want to mark my range this is my down range this is down range down range this is the down range what it means is i'm going to be trading in within the range within the range let me take it to the right yeah this is down range why this is my up range okay let me write let me just let me this are we still in the same page are we still in the same page hope i'm not confusing you hello are you there Can you hear me? If you can, please let me know. I guess you have that up challenge. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can okay. Hear me. okay. Is, this, so, is this my side or your side? The network? I think it's my, it's my side. I think it's my side. Networks are just crazy. They are crazy here. They are crazy. Mm. So this is the down range. This is yeah. the top range. Ooh, on which time of the day is your network strong? Ah, uh, uh, network is crazy. I I don't want to change. If I change, the recording is going to is going to hot. So let's just can manage it, and then I'll change later. So we have. Uh, I'm seeing this is top range, which is external liquidity. Since we are buying, this is double bottom here. These are some forms of liquidity in this place. Now, if I take my Fibonacci from here to the high, you see that this is 50%. And below that 50%, the only places I'm seeing that is not balanced is here. This is an imbalance. I'm seeing this huge imbalance around here. I'm seeing a huge imbalance. You can see this imbalance, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, then I'm seeing another tiny imbalance around here. So since this is um, the one hours, I'm expecting price to either come to 50% of this imbalance and then we go to these highs because price is still bullish in the daily. You know, we are going for the retracement, so we want to have price that trade back to 50% like uh, maybe something like this price comes to give us something like this 
and then we go up that's what i'm looking at because it's already below 50 percent so price should take this equal lows here as internal liquidity clear them and then we go up but for price to trade back into this place i doubt if price trades back into this place price might not have the force to go upward because it's already this zone, 50 percent and below so price can just find uh its support here this is actually support because you can see price came here and traded down so this was like a resistance which when coming this would be a support price can land here and then we go so having this knowledge that's why i now scale down to um a one minute or five minutes no, i think one minute let me check five minutes and now scale down to a one minute chart then i'm looking at price action from that place i'm looking at price action on the one minute chart yeah i caught this yesterday i caught this on the five okay i think it was 15 minutes yeah 15 minutes okay 15 minutes is better so i caught this on the 15 minutes yesterday so people were skeptical that it did not hit one to three but you can see what happens here price came gave us a high a low and price broke the structure this was a breaking market structure for me for me or you can call it break breaking market structure or change of character whichever you want to call it school is fine but you know this is within the four hours or the one hours range price should go down and clear this double top that is what i see so i'm trying to catch all the entries now i had this break of structure all the move 50 percent of this move is what i calculated 50 percent of all of this push up and i had my entry there yeah i think 50 percent there or i had my entry on the mitigation by the way this was my entry price went down created this double equal highs which was <clears throat> some form of internal liquidity price tapped me and came to give me one to three you can see this week this was the week that closed the profit one to three and then price reverses back so from one to three you have already taken 80 percent and then you got hit but price has really not hit the stop loss but price is still around this zone so all of this is consolidation are you getting it now but because you know smart money you know that once there's a break and then you want to wait for the retest of 50 percent of it or the other block around that place and then you can go this is an other block let me show you you are going to find that this candle here has no week let me remove all of this let me remove this are you seeing this candle really does not have week so this was where the volume came and push and then we moved up so just smart money and then i've i've closed this trade actually i closed it when price came close to this i'm breaking even so i was taking out so now i'm looking at price doing all of these creating double top so i know there's liquidity up which price should take but i'm i'm looking at something around this zone around the zone let me remove this and go to the one minute chart So you can just be catching fun. Trade is, is fun. Just catching some fun and you know this is what I saw on the uh, on the one minute chart. Yeah, this is what I saw. Price has not created all of this. The one I I think I sent this to the group. Price gave this and this some consolidation. This consolidation is one minute, but it's the same thing that happens. You know, the same thing that happens in the higher time frame. This is what will happen in the lower time frame. So price came weak out this high. So I saw this as my um, liquidity sweep, buy side liquidity, taking and price came and broke below this, breaking below all of these goals, all of these goals. So this is a break of structure, but don't forget they say weak around this place that price will need to clear. There's a week around this place. This week has not been cleared. So this might this is a risky, it's not a high probability trade anyway. It's not a high probability trade. Because price has not really but it will be a high probability trade if I wait for price to come to this place 
this is a counter trend if i wait for price to come here give me that one minute break of structure i will hold price to take out all of these highs all of these highs you are seeing i'll take price to all of these highs yes all of this high one touch support and resistance second touch and then price might come do a third touch and go down but this is high probability trade you want to wait for 50 percent of this place and then you take price higher i don't encourage counter trade for learners but i'm trying to let you know that the market is fractal it does the same thing every now and then so let me take this back so i started to wait for what price we do around this place on the one second i saw this break so i just took 50 percent of all of this move that's what i'm expecting price to do 50 percent of this move so this should be my entry and this should be my entry or so yeah yeah this should be my entry okay yeah, this should be my entry so having this entry i'm expecting price to tap me and we go down but if it does fine if it does not good i'm not losing anything i'm just losing one percent here one percent here like seven dollars i lose seven dollars from here to gain 21 dollars that should be fine if it goes off when price comes to the real point of interest then i should catch a better trade So let me allow you to ask your questions now mm -hmm. before I go to VIX 25. Oh, okay. okay, no problem. No, I was going to ask as well. Um, when um, when price doesn't retrace straight to the 50% uh, and and uh, say it, it, it gets, let's say it's only 25%, we like mustn't enter, right? We must just let price play out and if then it will eventually come back to the point of interest later on. Yes, it will come. It's a matter of time. Go. Yeah, I think you're trying to show that example the other day. I want to want you to show me that another example or something like that where where price doesn't reach the level we expect. So so we let it go up, maybe create equal highs, and then it comes down late uh, to that order block of for for fair value gap to pull it in. Yes, if the other block has not been mitigated, it will come. You just have to be patient, and then you also have to be flexible because price can come to price may leave the other block and not mitigate it are you following and create another other block above so if it creates another other block then you want to consider oh. that second other block so this is daily you know what i thought i i think oh. i thought uh, accumulation below the lows so this is the lows this is the lows this is the lows price has taken out the lows liquidity sweep. so what we are expecting now is that price will accumulate around this place around this place and then we go up mm. so let's go to uh, we're going to go to a lower time frame let's mm. see whether price actually accumulated maybe you didn't see it but i saw it mm. is it is, is the trend a, a, a bearish at the moment or, or bullish yes price is bullish on the daily and the four is bearish sorry it's bearish on the daily and four hours because if we want to wait now this was the last high that gave us this low so this is the weekly or daily range top range down range is this clear this is the last structural high that gave birth to this structural low so we are expecting that price should come back to this place, mitigate here, and we go down. Okay, I understand. Oh, it's clearer when you when you mark it like that. You know what the arrows where you expect price to go and come. Okay. Yes, yes, oh, we see. expect price to come back to all of this because everything me I'm seeing here is liquidity. You say just double tops, double tops. They are liquidities cleared and all of that many persons are looking at this place many places are looking at this place that this would be where price is coming by no price is going to clear all of them why are they looking at this place they say this is liquidity yes it's true price created this liquidity but you should know that the market is actually bearish so it created this other block 
for you to have an entry you have missed the entry if it's coming it will turn this to internal liquidity because if i take out my feed now i mark from this high all down to this low this is already internal liquidity yeah you'd have been able to catch all of this but if price is coming back i'm, I'm sure i'm sure yeah i'm sure price should clear them so uh, i'm not going to mark all of this price is bearish but this retracement remember what i thought distribution we happen above the highs accumulation we happen above the lows what it means is that there's going to be entries below the lows just to wait for a break of structure in a smaller time frame and play so this since this is a uh, daily let's go to four hours and find out whether there's a break of structure around this place just take one time frame backward let's see if there's a break of structure around this place so let me go to four hours i can go to four hours i can go to one hours let's see whether there's a break of structure around this place so that we can play so i'm going to zoom out i like zooming out so that you get it you know this this is the market is bearish but now do I need to let me reduce this to something like this? Okay, I think it's better. So what can you see? Are you with a system? Are you with a laptop? Well, I'm actually using my phone, but I can I can switch to my laptop if if I need to. Okay, uh, I, I, okay, yeah. maybe. Don't worry. I wanted you to annotate and tell me what you are saying. All right, let me just annotate. Oh. Let me just go do it. Close. So, yeah. so basically, I'm seeing over there a, a like W sort of uh, pattern. So there's like a change of character there at the bottom. God bless you. It's simple. You can see it. Are you? You can see this, right? Yes. That's if so, that's so what you are looking at. Through. You are correct. All right. So the over there came back. Came back to retest. That is just it. It's like a mitigation. So what you would have done is to now mark either this to this by prefer taking the body to the body the last reversal before the break of structure so i need to annotate so that you see everything breaking back a structure maybe i should make this red if you are not okay with the colors let me know you can change them i will so that it will be visible like visible so this was the breaking market structure now i'm taking all of this push down and in this place you see how these equal lows were captured is that true yes the uh, price took out the uh, south by the liquidity good and then price came what did i click okay price came back to into the candle so let me remove this now so that we can see clearly so price rallied up broke structure came back to 50 percent of the reversal move this was the last move before the break of structure the last sell move before the break of structure so a lot of volumes were injected there to break structure and then to sorry take out sell side liquidities and then broke structure so we are looking at 50 percent and below you are expecting price to come back into this place this is one hour you you it is not advisable to just come play 50 percent and they have a stop loss here this is about 15 pips stop loss that's a huge money that's a huge dollars so what are you expected to do this is one hour you have spotted the break of structure on the four hours now let's go to either one hour or 15 minutes uh, let me go to one hour let me just take one or two time frames backward let's see what happened within this place okay i think this is it you will see that it's clearer just take one time frame backward is it not clearer yeah yes much clearer yeah it's clearer yeah very, very clear. one hour. it's clearer so sure. if you had all of this price has come back to it now this was the retracement back now retracement has come to the 50 percent to the 50 percent so can i remove this and just concentrate on uh this entry okay no let me leave it like that retracement mm -hmm. has come to the 50 percent 
I would have loved to scale to a lower time frame. Let's see what price did when price came here. Because if I want to, no, sorry, let me remove this. That's not what I want. If I pick this, uh, take a buy entries from here. Um, I still feel it's high, so I want to scale down to. Let's try the 15 minutes. If it will load, let's see what happens on the 15 minutes. But you have identified this on a higher time frame. So you can look, scale down to a lower time frame and begin to look for entries. Start looking for entries. You know what you are looking for entries for. So this was the whole move down. You identified the 50%. Price came into the 50%. Now let me put this here. Price was coming. Please follow me now. This is how to get a, an entry that is very, very cheap. A cheap entry. You don't have to risk so much, but you risk little to get more. Price was coming. Price gave us retracement move. High, low, high, low, high. Price came, gave us all of these. Low. Watch what happened from here. Price came, cleared this liquidity. You get it? And Okay, this was yeah. my liquidity that was captured here and price came and broke structure so if i was on chart what i would have done if last if i didn't play this if i played this you'd have been activated you see that now you'd have been activated that's cool if you don't have time to stay on the chart like for you that is working it's fine you have if you have the equity you can just play this your stop loss here but this i, I think 15 this 15 pips, 20 pips is the maximum for stop loss. So this 15 pips is all right. It's considerable. You can go ahead and play that. Then you just first for target your one, two, three. But if you, if I want to reduce it, this is what I would have done. I would have waited for price to break here, giving me a break in market structure. I waited for price to break here. Then I will mark out. If you check here there is an imbalance here i want to be able to spot all of these and then if i mark this whole move 50 percent of this move that's what i would have been waiting for if i want to reduce my stop loss because of equity i don't have so much money like that i want to so most times i want to look for lower time frame entries and you might miss it but you know you are doing the right thing it's better to have your equity with you than to just lose it to the market when you now see a good trade you can't take entries is that not better you have the equity on your mt4 yeah. mt5 then you know you didn't make profit you didn't lose it then you just want to enter and then have it all shut out so if i had my entry here possibly i would not have picked i would not have been picked on this trade yes but i missed this first move but for you that entered here, you'd have still been on this move. And you, then you keep catching it. So me now, I over-refine. <laughs> I over-refine to lower time frame. I miss the move. It happens every now and then. But it doesn't mean that what I saw was not correct. It doesn't mean what I saw was not correct. Price came back to that one hour's point of interest. I played 50% of it. If I have equity, 50% of it. Stop loss at the lows. I got picked by this move down. But you know, see what happened here? This is reaccumulation price coming to break structure, sweep liquidity, and move up. But immediately price broke. What did price do? Price came and rested on the support. Price used the support to go up. Broke here, resistance came and used this as support and went up. But I knew I'd be able to catch more trades. I missed it, it's gone. I expected price to retrace, it didn't retrace, that's fine. This entry was missed by me, but this was entered and it was correct. So let's go. What can you see? Price gave us all of this. Price began to retrace back, and all of a sudden, price broke this low. Price cleared this liquidity. There was some form of equal loss here. To all of this, this was equal loss. This is how to add positions. Price will do the same thing. Price has cleared all of this external liquidity. And then watch what happened. I would have loved to. Let me see if I'll get five minutes. 
or 15 minutes is still okay price broke this structure did you see that yes all right price broke that structure please just try and follow me so that um it just is the same thing uh, it's just the patience you would need after price broke this structure i would want to have this imbalance drawn out this imbalance and i'll have my sorry okay so i have my entry here of this imbalance to target this high since we are bullish in this retracement move external liquidity to be taken so this would have given me like a one to 2.69 that's fine i've not made money since morning and i made one to 69 that's cool then price came gave us all of this distribution i'm not looking to sell because the retracement move is a buy so i'm looking to be adding positions price came and gave us this movement price started retracing down then i'm expecting okay let's see what price will do price gave this double bottom which is your liquidity sweep and then what did price do price broke structure i'm just playing i've taken let's say two partials here price took me all the way to this side this is a one to six this is a one to six that was caught here so price gave us this you can see that imbalance there i would have played this possibly i would have been taken out i know that played this but seen it price gave us this imbalance just very tiny imbalance so i would have had my entry here waiting for price to come and activate me then i'll have my stop loss at this low so what did price do price came into it and wicked me out yes it actually wicked out this it did so this was a no-go area a miss are we still there so price came yes, price came after this retracement broke this high and went to all of this high i just want to be adding positions price broke all of this all of this the first it broke this so since it broke this then i want to look for an entry are you saying this is the smart money queue instead of creating an imbalance they created a queue so i've just played the 50 percent of the queue 50% of that cube that give me that entry sorry 50% of that cube that give me the entry stop loss in this last load that wicked me out on this trade so price came tapped me in and then but I've taken profit from this high which is a 1 to 4 yeah, 1.4 something yeah 1.4 thereabout so price came price didn't retrace back price entered filled me in on this week came back you couldn't break this high came back gave all of this and broke these highs so i've been expecting another entry this can be another entry in future if we're still going up if price comes if price didn't come that's all this is how i've just been adding position i've been adding position to all of these I win some, I lose some, but I'm playing in the I'm playing in line with trends. I'm not playing against the trends. Are you getting it now? So I want to take price here, but this one went and gave all of this. One to seven. Price came. Did it wick me out? Yes. Price wicked out this trade. I'm showing you all the entries you have got in. In 75 sorry in this 25 so price came give all of this give all of this and then since price broke this low price gave this and wicked me out came back retested i wouldn't have played this but it was fine price broke this came back to it i wouldn't have played this i'm very sure because it was not happening around the higher time frame point of interest so i know it's not a redistribution so I don't have played that. Let's go. What did price do? Price created another low. Lows. You can see what happened here. I just want to keep buying. Price came to all of this. Broke this little structure here. 
I would have played this. Possibly you wouldn't have played it because you wouldn't trust your analysis. It's fine. I wouldn't have even seen that one. Eh? Okay, so you don't. Yeah. So I'm just taking fifty percent somewhere around this. So long I'm expecting. I'm playing in the direction of the trend. Any break of structure, I will play the retest. Any break, I'll play it. Any break, I'll play it. Yes, I'll play it. So if you didn't see this, you'd have seen this. This was a break, another break. Market broke this. So we should expect price to come back to all of this candle. So if you didn't play this, you'd have seen this other one. Price came to this. I'm no longer drawing the fifty percent, but I think you understand what I'm saying. When price broke this out, I just take yeah. fifty percent of this. And so it's the same thing. I'm not doing it. I would have played the body 50% of all of these. This is the entry. I just had my entry around this place. Stop loss below, below. So that would have filled me in. And then I'd have been looking to take price from this liquidity here. All of this. I don't have I don't know whether price will create all of this. So I'd have been looking to take price to the left. We take price to the last liquidity or the last high. So I'd have been looking to take price from all of this liquidity. All of this. So I'd have had two entries here. This one was knocked out and the price kept going up. Price kept going up, another retracement that will give us another possibly entry retracement and boom, price came, broke this. Price broke all of this, price broke all of this. So since price broke this, I would have been expecting entry around this region. It's not all the trace you will get entry you are not smart money you don't move the market so you cannot tell where the entries will come just play your setup is the setup you are playing your components they played out so you are playing your component so what did price do price broke all of these external liquidity swept and price retraced and cleared all these guys within the zone all of these guys all these guys were cleared by this week so i know smart money was here to clear this previous bias and then all of this move is what i would have just looked to play i just need to play the body of all of this move all of this move the body if i go down very well i'm gonna find a cube around this place i don't have missed this because i would have been looking at playing this i'm being sincere to you i would have been looking to play this I'm telling you how I take my trades. This is what I've, I would have been looking to play. I would have missed this. I take price up. But if you played the 50%, I'm talking to you now, this is already 15 minutes, so the stop loss is going to be small. So if you play the 50% that have been on this trade, what the price will tap the 50% beautifully, and then we are taking price from here. So this one would have been missed. Uh -oh. Go ahead, sir. Question, Moses. Well, yeah. uh, with, uh, with your entry, uh, uh, how do you know, like, which candle to enter on? Do you, do you follow, like, a three bar pattern or something? How do you decide on, on the candles to actually enter? Like what I said, I said for an other block, every other block, what validates an other block is that it led to a break of structure. And then, most likely, there will be an IPA, a fair value gap within it. That's what makes an order block valid. It simply tells you that much volume was there that led to the break of structure. So there is insufficient price action there. So that's why most times I, I want to look for my entries on the lower time frame fair value gap. So this would have been my entry. I you not seen that small fair value gap there? There's another one here. Yes, yes this is 15 minutes if you go to 30 minutes now this fair value gap might not be here you will see the other block the bullish engulfing you will see it as bullish engulfing but price even showed us where price was price showed us where it's coming to let me zoom out what can you see here you see that candle without wick can you find it yes so this is the real candle that price should come to this is where the volume was. That was the candle. So these are the things you want to look out for. Okay, if I go to lower time frame, where is the exact candle without wick? This is the fair value gap candle. 
it means the volume was here that it was able to print because every candle in the market means they are buyers and sellers sellers were there bargaining price downward buyers were there pushing price upward so the candle end up with uh, weeks on both sides but if you see a candle without wick to one side it simply means there was so much volume in that candle and that was the candle they came to tap the open then to play 50 percent this is already a lower time frame if it was one hour or the four hours i'll just play 50 percent of the candle because 15 minutes now this would be like just a one candle in the one hour yeah well, since it's three candles i think the candle will start from here but this is the real candle that we are coming into so if i had seen this candle believe me i'll play this i'll just play the open but in case you are not able to spot the candle easily if you take 50 percent of this retracement price still came to the 50 percent you saw it that's where price came to so these are different entries why some persons use 50 percent we look for the candle you are a smart trader so you want to check out everything everything like everything okay this 50 percent is there a candle within that place that should validate and give me more confidence like a confirmation for my entry yeah there was the candle was there imbalances are inside of that candle to tell you that that was actually the candle so playing the open you'd have gotten all of this move did i answer your question Yes, yes, no understood and hundred percent. So, so this happens is like I mean, you probably ninety percent most of the time you like successful with this uh, get up and strategy, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It comes right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Well, quick question: Which of these indices gives you the most get ups with this uh, strategy? It's okay. It's all right. I should. I, you know, we are just starting the mentorship, so. Uh, I, I would have loved to be making videos and just dropping but I think I I just wanted us to be in the class so that when I'm done recording I'll stop the recording then we have time for questions and answer but the challenge I have now is that I wanted all my trainings to be three times a week and we have at least two morning session and one night session but because some persons are saying they go to work like yourself now I just want to carry everybody along if not i'm freer in the day while i'm in the office i trade in the office so at night i would like to bring my system home my kids are there they are making noise you watching they are watching cartoons jumping on me so i'm not able to have enough time to like look into the chat so like now we started this call i think around to 11 after 11 or thereabout and we are yes. still on the call so if we can have calls in the morning like three hours like this we can have enough time for questions and answer but when we started call around 9 p.m and it's already going to 10 and that 9 p.m i've not eaten because i just came back from work around 7 38 so i just sit on the call sure. yeah wow hey listen i appreciate your time you know giving your time like this i i really do not many mentors will sit down with a student one-on-one -on -one and and go through this whole thing step by step with me so from my side you know i am I'm, I'm really glad i found you you know I, I really want you to catch all of this it's it's simple just do away with the indicators every other stuff that you just do away with it look at the chat let it be your friend find out the footprints that smart money is dropping is there a break of structure is it at a higher time uh, a free point of interest if you can spot it then get the play okay let, let me zoom this let me zoom this i want i wanted to say something now let's look at the wins you will have this. let's calculate the wins and then the losses all right this is one one win this is one loss this is two win two loss three win three loss four win five win four loss six wins so we have about six wins we have four losses so in that four losses we have about we lost four percent and we have six wins and all these six wins are more than one to three one to three so this one to seven these are one to eight one to thirteen one to i think four so at the end if you 
you are losing like 4% of your account and you have made over 130%. Bro, that's, that's a good money. I, I don't see anybody who's going to pay you like that. Just by getting this skill, just by knowledge. So when you told me you were working and all of that, yeah. it's fine. You keep working so that you can be able to fund your account and but first get the skill. Once you get the skill, I'm very sure it won't take time you quit that job. I'm, very sure. I'm in Nigeria where the economy is terrible and bad. You are where you are. I think it, it could be better than here. I don't know. But if you can get this skill, believe me, you can pay yourself. You can. And so it's just so just yes, yeah. it will only take if you really follow through what we are learning, before we even finish the two months of lectures, you'll be able to catch trades beautifully well. You wouldn't need any other person. I just began to say, Oh, uh, bro, can you just confirm this for me? Okay. We look at it together and, and then you are good to go. So on this retracement move now, look at how many trades we have caught. And if you keep following it, remember we are going to the daily higher low. So let me load that. Let me see if I can load it. And then you see where we are going to. You keep catching all these moves, all these moves to this place. Before you get to this place, by focusing on just one asset, you must have caught more than 10 good trades by just 10. So we're expecting price all of this place. Before you get to this place, you must have caught this is a retracement move. Then you have knowledge of smart money. You waited for a break of structure of four hours. You went down to either a 15 minutes, 10 minutes, or five minutes and expect another break of structure to the upside, right? Then you play that 50% or you play the open or you play once it's a lower time frame, play 50% and just rest. Don't stress yourself. Set your limit on the 50% and watch what will happen. So that's just it. That's it. All right. All, all, all. If you can hear me, all. All indices provide the same setup. This is just um, um, 25. We can check another asset. All. Yeah. All. Is the knowledge. It's not the same thing. I just showed you a chart on Euro USD. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, Euro USD. I don't trade all the um, currency pairs. I just trade Euro USD because I can easily check my DXY and then. I used to trade euro card but i just want to focus uh, when i'm making money from synthetic why should i even be uh -huh. but you know synthetic has its own its own uh, stuff like that it's not as wide as this this is affected by new so i want to know what's happening and all of that so i just go to my dxy check my dxy chart then i know where i'm looking at but that's why i just trade only this dxy Okay, let me use capital. Yeah, capital. Let's capital. This is my DXY. Oh, yeah, I had all this macro before. I think I checked it yesterday. I'm not done today. Yeah, I checked it today. I'm not done today. So, if I go to the weekly, I want to go to the weekly or monthly. Let me go to the monthly. What I'm looking at on DXY. So I'm looking at price to come to see what price has been doing. High, low, higher, high. Price broke structure. And then we expect that price should go up. Price K broke this structure. This is the monthly chart. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, sir. I can hear you. And you can yes. see my screen, right? This is the monthly chart. Price broke structure. What did price do? Price came back break on market structure price came back to the last move yes mm -hmm. if i check it now i check this, this is 50 percent but this is monthly chart you don't want to play 50 percent of all of this so you just want to keep your what? uh even even smart money their account will blow 
the account to play with it, then play 50%, honestly, there is going to be a huge drawdown. So, you just want to circle all of these places and wait for price to come here. So, price came here, gave a, a uh, an accumulation. You can see it. Price came, broke this structure, and then price has not retested all the while. Price just came, wicked in, and then they left. If you, if you see this is like a form of double top around this place this is some form of liquidity price went there took all that liquidity yeah and then they created a cube are you not seeing that cube this is the cube they created a cube here yes i can see it yes so this is a cube so I'm expecting price to come to 50% of this cube. That's what I'm expecting. Smart money should bring price to 50% of this cube. So DXY will still go down. DXY, I'm expecting DXY to come down more. 50% of this cube. I want to just get the exact cube, okay? I'm using the body. We use body. So, so like 50% of this, that's what I'm expecting. So I'm expecting DXY to go down more, and that's why I'm expecting um, Euro USD to go higher. That's why I'm expecting Euro USD to go higher. So I'm expecting Euro USD to come here and go higher because DXY should go here and come lower. So for DXY, I'll, I'll check what you drop at the chat. In the chat, I'll check it out. So I'm expecting DXY to come to this before we go up. Seeing a double top or triple top will increase the chances of liquidity being taken above. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It tells you that market is coming there. So you now want to look for how to join price to go and take that liquidity. It's smart money footprint. Double top. But traders on YouTube will teach you double top. So double top, they tell you the first touch at the second touch, the trend line or the support or resistance zone is established. So at the third entry, then you can sell down so price came sold from here came back sold they'll be happy waiting for price to come here the price sell from here price gave a little retracement created this smart money cube boom blew all of them so this liquidity that was taken so we that no smart money we know that double tops are areas of liquidity to be taken so since the market is bullish high low high low a low and then we go for another high so this is what we are I'm expecting so the strategy works in everything it's just smart money strategy it works it was that's what they do that's what they play so you just want to keep playing with them just want to keep playing with them all right ask your final question so that I can I'll stop the recording and then I'll convert it and I'll drop it in the group Hello, sir, are you there? All right, thank you guys for ensure you watch this. This was a one on one uh, call. Ensure you watch it is very compulsory, like very mandatory. Ensure you watch it. Let me stop the